hey you all so whenever you want to make some changes or configuration changes let's say you want to add a new column to a table or you want to add a new field or you want to add a new ui policy the way to do it is that in the in development environment in sometimes it's also called the sandbox in that environment you have to create an update set in that update set you have to capture all your changes then you have to close that update set and then move that update set to the next environment so that it can be tested and from there it can be sent into production so today we will see how to actually create an update set in which you will be able to save or capture your changes so the first step to create an update set would be uh, to yeah like it is in most cases you have to start with the left navigation in the left navigation type update sets here you will see a lot of options update sources retrieved update sets update log local update sets merge update sets and so on but what we need to do is click on local update sets that is the link that will help you create a new update set see already there are some update sets available here in that click on the new button and you will see a form you have to uh, fill in those fields only one only the name is mandatory the rest of them uh, you can fill in later or as per requirement and yeah let's name it test update set underscore 101 or something like that and the state uh, is in progress parent update set is a different concept uh, it's not necessary right now and the release date is the release date expected release date when this update set will go into production so write some description so that you don't lose track of what is there in the update set uh, in this test update set we will write uh, to check for uh, uh, how to how it works just like that something some random text for now and then there are two options you will see submit and submit and make current when you submit it will create a new update set and it will keep in progress but submit and make current will make this update set current that means any changes after that will be captured in the update set so submit and make current is a button that you need to click to make sure that the update set gets created and it is ready for you to put in the changes or configuration changes that you wish to so clicking on that button you will see that our new update set has been created i am just going to sort it by created then you will see uh, the one that's at the top the latest one yes that's the update set that has been created The application is global and state is in progress and the created date timestamp you see I just created that and uh, from here to see if the update set is current or not that means if it is ready to accept all your changes what you need to do is click on this icon here you will see the name of the application scope which is global and below that you will see update set test update set underscore 101 that means this is the update set that we just created and you see that red dot which is like saying it is live and all which means that it is currently this is the update set that is uh, current yeah so that is how you create a update set and let's take a look inside uh, the update set it's basically it looks like any other service now form but there are some fields that you should know about see now be, before we did not see this but now you will see there are three tabs at the bottom uh, customer updates update set logs and child update sets so whenever you make any changes those changes get logged under these first two tabs child update sets is something else we will we'll talk about that later but customer update so let's say you deleted a field that entry will come and show here and that will be entered here update set log is basically a far more detailed variation of what you will see in customer updates and child update sets is basically a parent child relationship between update sets when you want to batch and all we will talk about that soon but primarily this is what you need to focus on make sure that the update set is current and it is in progress for you to make any changes if it is in ignore state that means the system will not capture anything in it if it is in complete state all your changes will go into default so once you are done say, making all the changes you have to put it in uh, the state complete and save the update set when then when we want to when you are done and you are ready to move to the next environment so basically that's how you create an update set 
you have any questions please put them in the comments i'll be able to i'll be happy to answer them thanks for watching this video please subscribe to service now for beginners